definitely on. I just tried to make a video and it was one of those really boring like turn on the camera and babble videos and so I did that for a while and then I turned it off and realized that there was no memory card in the camera. So you don't get subjected to that. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it again actually. I will recreate the video that will never exist. Um, last time you told me all about how you were cleaning a room um, in preparation for your roommate's return. And today I come to you with a personal anecdote of why it is always a good thing to clean your room. Um, yesterday I decided I was finally going to go get a vacuum from the administration of my residence. Because the last time I tried to get a vacuum from them, they were like, no, there's no vacuum. And I was like, okay, so either all 300 of us are supposed to own our own vacuum cleaners, or we're supposed to never clean our rooms. So this time I was like, no, I'm gonna get a vacuum. I don't care if I have to steal a vacuum from you, I'm gonna get a vacuum. But they gave me a vacuum, so it was good. Um, and then while I was cleaning all the things, I, I looked down on my bed and found my iPod, which I had thought was lost and I was beating myself up over it because I thought the last time I remember using it was in a, an opera rehearsal where like in this, this opera rehearsal, like all of the winds are on their gadgets or reading books or newspapers or studying or something because we have long stretches that we don't play. Um, but I was like, okay, that's it. The universe has gotten back at me for texting and checking my email in rehearsal. Never doing that again. But I was also upset because it was a gift from my mother. And one of the things that my mother really likes to do is play Scrabble on her iPod with her friends. And so she gave me this iPod so that I could play Scrabble with her. Except you need a Facebook account to do that. And I didn't want to get a Facebook account just to play Scrabble. Um, so, and then I lost it. So I thought I was like a double failure as, as an offspring with this. Um, so, I was happy that I found it, except I think it's angry at me for losing it behind the bed because it won't do anything. Um, it won't charge when I plug it in. The thing, I don't, the thing I don't like about these is that you can't really fix it yourself. I mean, there's only so much you could do with two buttons. You know, if your computer breaks, there are plenty of people on the internet who have ideas of how you can try to fix your computer yourself. But if this breaks, the only thing you can really do is go down to the app store and whine at them until they fix it. <coughs> okay, so for the second time, I will say, moral of this video, clean your room and um, preferably know how to fix your stuff. And let's throw in, don't check your email in rehearsal. Just, get, you know, I could have lost it, but just didn't. I just got back from the Apple store where they told me to make an appointment and then I made an appointment and as I waited I plugged in my iPod at one of their little iPod plugging in stations just to see if maybe it was not being liked by the computer or something. Maybe it just didn't like all computers. Um, and then I pressed, I pressed this button just to see what would happen and that was the first time I tried pressing that button by itself and not with the home button while it was plugged in and it turned on and did that. Um, so I left. But you know, if it took me walking half an hour in minus 31 weather to the Apple store in order to plug it in and press the correct button, then that's what it takes. So um, I'm not quite sure which kind of lesson that adds to today's roster of lessons, but I am glad to have learned it.